travel information for going to Disney and this video is going to be all about Magical Express and if you are not taking Magical Express for your Disney trip then you really don't need to watch this one. <laughs> but if you are or you're thinking about it this will hopefully give you some helpful information. So Disney Magical Express is just their free service to get you from the airport to your ho Disney hotel and from your Disney hotel back again. So this is for Disney Resort guests. This is what the service is for. And so this is at Disney World. So that is kind of what Magical Express is. There's a, a few other things it does, like they handle your luggage, and they can also help you do check-in when you're returning home. They can check you into your flight. Um, you can uh, actually have them do your luggage for you from the Disney Hotel, so you can go straight to security. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool service. So let's get into what to expect. So you're going to Disney, you booked your trip, and now that you know your trip dates, you're gonna go and book your flight. When you book your flight, if you have your flight information at the time that you're booking your trip, you can give the person your information then or do it online. If, however, like most people, you end up booking your trip and then you make your airline reservation separate because you're waiting till you have your trip dates, then you're going to have to call in to Disney and give them that information. And I'll put the uh, phone number below for who to call about that. And so yes, you will call them. You can't do this online once you have an existing reservation going. You've got to call them to add in your Magical Express information. And so basically you call them and you give them your flight information and times and they get you all set up. Then what you're going to expect is that that's all set up. That's You're good to go. You know you just got to get yourself to the airport. Well, before you go, you're going to receive a packet, your Magical Express information packet, and it's going to have all of your information in there, so make sure that's correct. It's also going to have some special luggage tags. These tags are how Disney easily recognizes your bags to take to the hotel, and it has your information on it. So use those luggage tags. Those need to be on your bags. Make sure you use them. If for some reason you didn't receive them, you need to call them and ask them about them. And don't worry if something happened and you didn't get them or you forgot to put them on. All you need is your baggage claim ticket. You bring it to the Magical Express desk when you're checking in, and you give it to them, and they will still find your luggage for you because they are awesome. So. <laughs> And now, if you are getting to Orlando and you're there before 5 a.m. or after 10 p.m., you have to get your luggage yourself. Most people aren't there, are, are there between 5 and 10, so you're not going to have to worry about that. But occasionally, if there's a really early red-eye flight or a really, really late flight you, that you're getting in really late, you're going to have to grab your luggage yourself. So, but otherwise, the Disney people will get it for you. But if you are getting your luggage yourself or you just choose to anyway, just go and get it and you're going to take it with you to the Magical Express location in the airport. Now, to find the Magical Express location, when you land and you get off your plane and you are heading, you're being herded towards the exit areas, you are going to almost always see very friendly Disney staff with big old white Mickey hands waving at you and they'll tell you where to go. However, it's also listed all over the airport as well as there are maps on the Disney website that will show you where to go. So you will absolutely not have any trouble finding them. Ask a Disney employee that you'll see in the airport standing around waving their hands or just look, it'll be everywhere. So don't worry, it's gonna be on the ground level and you will find it. It's not that hard. So. Once you get there, here's important information. Before you packed your bags, your, if you have the magic band, your resort guest means you have magic bands. Magic band, do not pack it in your luggage. You're going to want to keep that with you because that is how you're going to check into your hotel. It's got your Disney tickets on it. It also has your Magical Express information on it. So keep those magic bands with you. You can wear them to the airport, have them already on, or you can keep them in a bag that's a carry-on. Make sure you have those. So now you're landed, you're following the Disney hands, you're getting to the Magical Express. You're going to go and check in with them. They'll look at your little magic band and get you checked in. And they'll have you go and stand in the appropriate line to wait to catch a ho the, the, the specific Magical Express bus to your Disney hotel. It'll be super exciting. If you have kids, especially, the Disney staff is going to be giving them stickers and asking them if they're excited. And it's just really fantastic. So I love it. So then you are going to get onto your bus. No worries about your luggage. Your luggage is going to be delivered to your room for you by Disney. Again, even if you forgot to put your luggage tags on it, you hand them your baggage claim and they take care of it. So they're handling that. It will take up to three hours for your luggage to get to your room. 
So make sure that anything you want when you first get there, you have on you. So you're gonna get on the Magical Express bus. These buses are very comfortable. They're not like little cheap buses. They're nice buses and they play when you start to go whenever everybody's loaded and they're taking off. They start this Disney video that's for the Magical Express trip and it's so cute and it always has the Disney characters going through how to check into the hotels and get into their rooms and it's it's adorable it's fun for the kids and it's fun for you and it passes the time from getting to the airport to disney world super exciting as you get close to disney world your driver is going to be happy for you he's going to say and we're at disney world when you go through the entrance into the park grounds and it's awesome it's just so much fun so they're going to let you off of the bus and you are going to go and get into your hotel and check in and there you go. So that's that's the Magical Express to get there. So now it's time to leave, which is sad, but you're leaving. So how are you doing the Magical Express now? What's gonna happen is the day before your departure, you are going to get in your room. They're going to put a little info sheet that's going to tell you when your Magical Express bus needs to leave for the airport. And uh, if you want to have your bags taken down, you can call them and have them picked up by a porter that next day. Otherwise, you'll take your bags with you. They're going to get on the same bus as you. Now, there are certain airlines. It's only certain airlines, um, but there are many that you can actually do advanced check-in with. This allows you to, you can actually do your airport check-in at your Disney World Resort Hotel. And it's very cool because it's just like when you go up to the ticket booth and you check your bags at the airport, except you're doing it at your hotel before you leave. You do need to do this at least an hour before you're actually getting on the bus. And the bus will leave about three hours before your flight if you're flying non-internationally. And if you are flying internationally, it's going to be four hours. So you're going to need an extra hour on top of that. You bring your luggage to them to check and they're going to put the baggage claim numbers on it and give you the little claim ticket and they're going to handle all of that. And you check in and they'll give you your tickets and everything else. And this is if you choose to do this. You don't have to. This is just one extra perk. And this just means that when you get to the airport, you already have your tickets. You already have your baggage claim number. Disney's taking care of that. You just go straight to security. Now, if you don't do that, no big deal. You just take your bags with you to the Magical Express bus. When you're leaving, they're gonna load it right onto that bus. When you get off of the bus at the airport, you take your own bags and you're gonna go in and you go through the check, check in counter and all of that like normal. And that is how that works. And like I had already mentioned though, but just to, to reiterate that your bus will leave around three hours before your actual flight because they like to make sure there's plenty of time. We always feel like they make you leave too early, but I get it. They don't <laughs> rather better be safe than sorry. And that Orlando security line at their airport can be really long and annoying. So it's what they do. So the only other thing I want to talk about is that Disney is even awesome about helping when there's a problem at the airport. This happened to us where we got there and they had actually, um, we got to the airport on time. We weren't late. There was no reason this should have happened, but they had actually, one of our bags didn't make it onto our flight. Um, it had possibly, they had done an extra check on it. Um, they said though, even with the extra check, it still should have made it on the flight. They didn't really have a very good explanation with it. They just made a mistake. They put it on a later flight and then they kind of lost it. The airline didn't know where it was. They knew it wasn't at the airport, but they didn't know which flight they put it on. It was very stressful and very annoying when we went. It uh, had nothing to do with Disney. It had to do with our airline. So we were like, ah, so we were kind of feeling very stressed about that and, and worried. So we waited and we tried to fix it, fix it and we tried to work everything out and finally we just went to, we were like, well we just need to go to Disney and we'll just deal with it if it happens. So we went to um, check in at the counter, we told them what had happened and they were like, give us your baggage claim information, give us the information for what's going on, tell us what happened. And we told them what happened, we gave them our airline information, our flights, what the airline had told us, we gave them our baggage claim and they were like, we'll take care of it. So we no longer had to worry about it. Disney took care of it. They stayed in contact with uh, the airline. They found our bag for us, got the information from the airline, took it from the airline. The airline actually had got it too late. The last Disney Magical Express bus had left. So then Disney went back to the airline and said, you guys got to go and deliver this to our Disney hotel tonight for these guests. And they did. <laughs> the airport, you know, the airlines, they actually have people who will do that. And so Disney made sure that they did that for us. It was amazing. And we had gotten there later in the day on one day. By the next morning, we had a little flashing light telling us we had just slept in our clothes because we didn't have our pajamas. 
but we had a little flashing light on our phone saying at like three in the morning the bags had arrived at the resort and they didn't want to wake us so they left us a message we called the front desk they said we have your bags and they brought them to us y'all without us having to worry about it or us having to stay up late to organize getting the bag to us from the um airline it was they took care of it, so it's wonderful, and I, I just absolutely thought that was a fantastic thing. I was quite pleased with that. So, there you go. There's some information about Magical Express. You can go to their frequent, their FAQ, Frequently Asked Question page, or feel free to ask me, and I'll try to help. Again, I'm not a Disney expert. I'm just someone who's done this a lot of times, <laughs> so I kind of figured out some of the ropes about it. But hopefully that helped you, gave you some information. I really recommend doing Magical Express. Even sometimes we go on the trip there and we actually go to Universal or we do another park before we go to Disney. We still do Magical Express and what we do is we'll do Magical Express just for the return trip or just for the going part. You know, if we're going to go to the other parts on the, on the inside. So, um, on the end of it. Uh, just, we'll still do Magical Express, we'll just do it part way. Like we will land and we'll take a shuttle and we'll go get our own bags and we'll go to our, our other hotel at Universal and then we'll take a cab or whatever to Disney and then when we come back we still do Magical Express so that's something we do too. I always use Magical Express when I can. We always stay on property so we don't have to worry about having a car. Disney takes us everywhere and we like it like that. So Magical Express is definitely fantastic. They also go for the cruises. Magical Express takes you to their cruise line so that's great. They'll take you straight from the airport or they'll take you from the Disney hotels. We've done that as well and very nice, something you don't have to worry about. Um, I really recommend it if you're just going and you're not renting a car, you're not wanting to do any of that. Magical Express is free for the resort guests, you just do it. So anyway, I hope that helped y'all and I'll talk to everybody in the next Disney planning video. Bye guys.